this is Andy Roman from Elm Treason. And this is Bobby Steele from Elm Treason. This is Joe Butch, and you're listening. One. Hey, this is Julie <laughs> Gibbs. Hey, y'all, this is Michael Daughtry. Hey, Dave Yaff from Glasgow. One. Hey, this is an old We are Coleus. This is Mr. Susan. You are listening to New Music Saturday with Dr. Bones and Mad Anderson's. Those guys are crazy. Right on, and welcome back to New Music Saturday Part 3. And a big thank you to Vanilla Wayfoot for joining us for the first two parts. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I, yeah, it was, it was a crazy time, but a lot of fun. Always fun to have him on the show. So, yeah, I, I, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, Catherine. I was just going to say, crazy and Wayfoot absolutely go together. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you never know what you're going to get, so it's always a good time, right? Yeah. So... For part three tonight, we're going to get started with a new one by Isotheme. And this one is called <clears throat> excuse me, Signs of the Second Voice. And this is the title track to his new album. So dig this. Isotheme, Silence of the Second Voice. Dig this.
ISO theme. We haven't heard anything from him from a long time, but this is great. This one's called Silence of the Second Voice, and it's a title track to his second album coming out soon. And what a good mix of vocals and it just it just the 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 layering was just just really really well done. Like I really really enjoyed this tune. I did too, and it was just it was sort of fascinating right from the beginning. It has what I call a pop porn rhythm, okay. you know, and, and then it, yeah, it started to layer in the intro, and then he brought in those vocal sounds, which were just so ethereal. And then um, yeah, the whole thing was just constructed with these kind of motivic fragments throughout. It was just and it all hung together beautifully. It was really great. Right on. So next up, we're going to a song by the Marvels Jackson. This one's called Running Man. Dig this. Okay, mic's off.
the Marvelous Jackson with Running Man. And uh, it did remind me a lot of Riders in the Storm, but because uh, of the keyboard. But it was a great tune. Like, I love these guys. Like the vocals are so stellar and so kind of chill. It didn't really kind of trip out at the same time, but they do it so well. Absolutely, yeah. I'm I'm really loving their sounds right now. And yeah, the opening was just sort of sultry and smoky, and it just set the mood perfectly. And yeah, um, they must be using a Fender Rhodes patch on the for the keyboards because it sounds like just an old school Fender Rhodes piano. Um, and the vocals are just so cool. They're just so bluesy. They're perfect for the music. You know what? I interviewed them as well, and they're such nice people. And uh, like telling you off air, the name came from their cats, Marbles and Jackson. So <laughs> I eat the Marbles Jackson. Perfect. So...